I once heard a celebrity, which I'm blanking on who, which celebrities is going to be boring for you, but <laughs> um, never. say that they only let their kids have screen time when they're traveling. Oh. But my husband was like, well, they probably travel all the time. That was right. a good point. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so I don't know. Celebs. Okay, let's get into it. Um, this first one is for children. We've broken it down by age group. One to three. Now, I would also like to say that the um, Pediatric Journal of American Medicine <laughs> says that you shouldn't give uh, electronics to your kid until they're at least like two and a half. Oh. So bear in mind. However, this one is good. I think it's very stimulating of the mind. So it's called Petting Zoo. It's $2.99 for Aww. an annual subscription. But basically what it is, is it is a continuous drawing. Have you ever got sucked into one of these where it just kind yes. of forms into other things? Morphs, yes. Yes. So the artist behind this um, interactive picture you're watching right now on your screen is Christoph Nee. Neiman, and he's best known for his illustrations in the New Yorker and the New York Times. So if it looks familiar to you, yes. that is why. So it's just a visual self-discovery. It's you know you can kind of zone out and watch it. I See, love it. we're zoned out right now. Uh, we are. I just mm -hmm. I almost fell asleep. It was so relaxing. <laughs> Plus that black and white. Uh, uh -huh. I remember when the kids were little. Yeah. Black, white, and red. I think were colors that they always said they could identify when with when more they're, when yes. they're itty bitty. So mm -hmm. that's just kind of simple yeah. and. That's good. That makes me feel yeah. better for never decorating my nursery. Race. Exactly. <laughs> Carrie, you knew what it's you like were a, doing. Right, I did. Yeah. Um, okay, the next one is for ages three to five, and okay. it's called Token Nature. It's also $2.99 for an annual subscription. It allows your kids to create landscapes. Okay, so you see the boxes what? down there at the bottom, and you can populate different landscapes, different visions, different animals. And then you kind of sit back after you plan your village, so to speak, and everything interacts together. This is amazing. It's really cool. And the app rewards curiosity with the pace and the sound of the music. Um, it's also sort of addictive, the music, and you'll get an earworm if you listen to it long enough, so you might want to put it on silent or make sure your kids are wearing <laughs> headphones. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or you'll You're be like, trust me. That's not one, but you know. Right. But it's very, also very soothing. I think. That is awesome. It's pretty cool. I think it's super cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Try this that one. next one is ages five to seven. I downloaded it and I had so much fun last night. Um, it's called Keezy. It's free. Keezy. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's one part keyboard and one part sampling machine. Okay, so it kind of reminded me of like the old Casio, but it's out oh, the, in yes. your hand. And you get so it has. You can build songs. It has preloaded soundboards. Um, <laughs> comedian and musician <laughs> Reggie Watts is on there. It's really cool. I've actually seen him in concert. He's hilarious. Um, and Tegan and Sarah. So there's all different kinds of music samplings. Um, but you can also just turn your, it enables your microphone so you can record yourself, make your own songs. The girls are probably like this. They, they like love musically. This. Yes. yes. It's okay. really fun. That's that what you watch. Super right cool. Mm -hmm. I love it. And it's called Keezy and yeah. it's free. And it's free. And it's very bright. Like, I don't know, right there. So you see that it's very bright and visual and yes. very user friendly. I figured it out right away. Okay, good. Yeah, I so like that. Because I'm Cause sometimes, I mean, I'm yeah. So sometimes good. I download an app and I'm like, now what am I supposed to do? But right. it's pretty easy. Right. Okay. I'm okay. a little technically challenged. So yes. that's good. Yes. Okay. okay. Me too. Sometimes. Right. Seven I mean, plus? I'm a tech expert. That's right. why I'm doing this segment. Exactly. Um, the next one is for ages seven plus. This is a recent one. Have you ever played? Wordscapes? No, my mom plays that. Okay, James loves it. James and my mom play it. And now they're into word stacks. Okay. All right. So this is kind of like an exercise for your brain. It's like a little bit Tetris, a little bit crossword puzzle. And what it does is it gives you a oh, hint at the this. top. Okay. And then you have to basically find it in the crossword and it falls down and forms new words. It's well, this very is great. It's very challenging. And last night I was playing with James and ours was a unit of measure. And I was like, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> You're like, James, I, good luck. I, I couldn't figure out any more of them. Of and it was measure? frustrating. Like a, a measure, yeah, it was like, like a, a second cup? or a cup. I know a it was cup? all different uh, kinds of oh. measure. So it would be like time. Got it. Volume wise. Yes. It was intense. That's really say. good, Kara. But, but I, it's I want good. that it's one. It's great. Yeah for, yeah, for a road trip. Okay, yes. get it. It's Thank you. Good. You're welcome. And by the way, we'll have Trent post all of these as well. Yes. Um, if you'd like to make sure you have those, if you are going on spring break next week as, as I am. I have so much fun. I know. So